What is going on guys? It is Parker here bringing y'all another video. Been a while since I've done a car audio video, but we are getting back into it guys. I've got some things settled here at the new house, so time to start putting some more work back into this build. Now, in today's video, we're going to finish hooking up the four channel uh, sundown amp that I got. It's the SFB 500.4. We'll deliver a ton of power, which will allow us to build bigger door panels and stuff like that here soon. But for now, we just want to get it working, so let's get right into it. If you don't remember, actually back a while ago, I installed this amp. Now, of course, Sundown SFB 500.4, so absolutely huge power going to be coming out of this thing for door speakers. Will be awesome. But we got it hooked up, got it turned on and working, and then I had hooked it up with some kind of cheaper RCA cables. And I was getting just a ton of static through the speakers and they sounded really bad. But today's video, I'm going to try to remedy that. We will see if it works or not, but shouldn't be a big deal. I've already got speaker wires and whatnot ran. For now, we're just going to be hooking up the front channel, which will go to these big old speakers right here. These are the Defbont Arnold speakers. Once we get those hooked up, guys, we can do a full review on those Arnold speakers, which will be awesome. Been needing to do that now for quite a while. Just big old awesome beefy speakers, but uh, anyway, let's stay on track here. Yeah, so we want to get this amp working to where there's no static coming through it or anything like that. To remedy this, guys, the first thing we're going to try is a new really high quality uh, just pair of RCA cables. Did a ton of research, and this seemed to be the number one issue when you're getting a bunch of just static noise coming through an amp like this. So, and these seem to be a great option. Everybody said these are about as good as it gets without spending, you know, crazy amounts. But of course, these are the, I don't know if it's canoe concepts or new concepts. It's probably new concepts. But anyway, these are triple shielded uh, cables. So you can run these right next to like a power wire or something. And you should get no wind whatsoever from that. So this is the first thing we are going to try, guys. If this does not work, no, not really sure what I'll do. But hopefully... This will be the ticket. Now with these other RCAs, guys, I tried running them all kinds of different directions. I even tried different RCAs, and I was just getting wine through it for some reason. So not really sure. I might have to ground the amp better or like ground the amp directly to the radio or something like that. So worst comes to worst, we'll try that. But this seems to be the best place to start is with these RCAs. So let's go ahead and pull out the radio so we can hook these up and start testing it out. So first of all, guys, at the moment, we are powering these speakers with this little 45 watt RMS per channel Alpine unit. And honestly, it's really good and it gets pretty loud and sounds fine, but it will be good to get something just bigger and better hooked up, especially since I have it, but it's been working just fine. So we are on guys and there's absolutely no static. You can hear a teeny, teeny little something when you first turn it on, but no static, guys. These things sound great. But when I hooked up that amp in the back, guys, we just got so much static, and it sounded awful, and it just wasn't usable, guys. It sounded so terrible, so it was not worth it. So hopefully these RCAs will get it done. So let's get a quick look at these guys. Obviously, the quality on these is excellent. Hopefully, it should be plenty. Of the ends just feel absolutely excellent guys of course everything is nice and solid in there don't got to worry about these breaking now then over here we have red black blue and white so we just gotta you know obviously put them in there and then match them up on the other end for what we want for front rear left right and all that stuff guys so we're just gonna go ahead and hook up red and black and then hook it up up front and see if it works. Let's see guys, these slide right on there. And just slide in really, really nicely. Now I will say these ends are a little bit loose. You can unscrew them kind of easy. So, but if you look at that, the shielding goes all the way to the end, so that's pretty cool. Not sure why they didn't put, you know, a little bit of glue on the end here to keep this from just uh, rolling back, but doesn't really matter i don't suppose so for testing purposes guys we just have this wire ran along here easier than running it all the way through the car since i'm not 100 percent sure this is going to work but we're going to power this on and hopefully we won't get any crazy static okay guys we got it on and unfortunately 
There is some pretty annoying just humming coming through this. Dang it, guys. I was so excited to have this figured out. Well, shoot, guys, was really hoping that was going to fix it, but apparently not. Now, the car is not on, so the, it's not an alternator wind or anything like that, so I'm not sure what it could be, guys. It's got to have something to do with that amp, but I can't figure out what it could be. It is so annoying, though. So, we are still getting a very faint hum, but it's not nearly as bad. So, what I did, just for testing, I ran a wire from uh, the RCA input over here. Just over to the RCA input on this side. And that seemed to fix the majority of the issue. So I hooked back up the cheaper RCAs that I have with the wires ran to the RCA inputs. And we actually are getting more noise than we did with the nicer RCAs. So just something to note there. Well, I guess it is what it is. Not too bad. Glad that running that wire helped. So I think we're going to go ahead and run these all nice and neat and then run a ground wire just from here all the way to the back. And hopefully that will solve my issue. So let's get to it. Got to pull the car apart a little bit, uh, take out the old RCAs, put in the new ones in the ground wire. And I think we'll have this amp good to go. All these ran super nice and we got that run right in there so gotta run this all along up to the back and hopefully this will start working pretty well We have the radio up about 23, 24. That's generally pretty loud. I have the amp all the way down as low as it can go. We're just going to play a little bit, see how it does, and then we'll turn the amp up.
Well, guys, that is nuts. Barely had the amp turned up, and it was just screaming loud, and it had those little woofers moving, guys. So, so excited. So, yeah, guys, running that little ground wire from the negative post on the RCAs on the head unit back to the back really seemed to work. Just to really recap, uh, getting the nicer RCAs did seem to help. Wasn't a huge difference, but when I had the wire ran with the old RCAs versus these, definitely a noticeable difference. So, always worth, guys, getting some quality RCAs. Doesn't mean you gotta spend a ton of money. I think these were like maybe 40 bucks or something like that, but... Just to get a super good quality pair of RCAs that I know I'm never going to have to replace is totally worth it, in my opinion. So there, of course, there you go, guys. New concepts coming in clutch. And, yeah, these speakers, of course, the Defbonce Arnold speakers are awesome, guys. Big old beefy speakers. There's going to be a full review of them coming up soon on the channel, so stay tuned for that. But, getting back into it, yeah, running that ground from here back to the amp seemed to fix it again no idea why guys but the only reason i knew to even try that was because of y'all when i made a video a while back showing that issue a bunch of you said to try that guys so that's what i did and surprised that it works all right guys well y'all let me know why that works and also if i would have got like a ground loop isolator would that have worked i don't know guys y'all let me know in the comments and let me know if there's anything else y'all would have done differently but this works for me, and I am happy with it. So excited to have this amp hooked up. That means we can start going to the next level speaker-wise. Maybe I'll put bigger speakers in the uh, back, or maybe I'll do a full door pod here. So I'm wanting to do, I'm wanting to have four, either six and a half or eights going across the bottom there, and then having four super tweeters going right across those guys. I think that would be epic. Would be great for the next whatever you know show or whatever's coming up guys so would love to have that done that could be a next spring project but maybe i'll bust it out over the winter here now that i have this big old shop to do stuff in if that's gonna do it for this video again thank y'all so much for watching could not do what i do without y'all so i do really really appreciate it so much well stay tuned for more videos guys obviously a ton to do in the workshop ton to do on project sequoia and just other stuff as always, guys. I do have some subs back there that need to be reviewed for y'all. And a couple cool videos with some of my old extra subs. So stay tuned for all that, guys. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. And stay tuned for more.